Greetings, folks. It is early Wednesday morning, December the 19th, 2018. My name is Tom Lineweaver, and this is a supplemental commentary um, on my commentary entitled Tucker Carlson and the Haters of God, the Conservative Haters of God. Now, what I want to talk about is the need for the love of God in politics. Folks, I don't believe there would be anything wrong with having a political party based on the love of God. If you're watching on YouTube, you see the picture above. It is a quote from President John Adams. He said, we have no government armed in power capable of contending in human passions unbridled by morality and religion. Our Constitution was made only for a moral and religious people. It is wholly inadequate to the government of any other. That seems to be accurate. We have a government that's anti-God. We have a government that's anti-Constitution. And they seem to go hand in hand. And we have these conservative people that go along with it. Let me tell you something. I have been a Republican most of my life. And for most of my life, as, as someone who believes in the Bible and reveres God, I felt comfortable in the Republican Party. Not anymore. How in the world can a godly party give us Donald Trump? How in the world can a godly party have a convention and give a standing ovation to somebody who says, I'm proud to be gay? The Republican Party is so far away from being godly today that it's, it's, it's uncomfortable to be a part of it. So I'm not. I am now an independent. Now, there is a book. I haven't read it. I've seen a little bit about it. It's called Political Agape. I would like to read that, but it probably would say pretty much the same thing that I believe. We need political agape. And the word agape is a Greek word that basically means sacrificial love. Yep. It means sacrificial love. The picture of agape is Christ on the cross. The guy gave of himself for others. We don't see that happening in politics today, do we? We do not see people making sacrifices. What we see in politics today are people who want money and power. Forget about people. Forget about what anybody else wants. We want what we want. And if that means building a wall on the southern border, so be it. We don't care if our decisions go against the love of God. And many of Donald, I mean, I can't imagine 
Donald Trump is the most unloving, ungodly people ever to sit in the White House. I would like for him, I'd love to see Donald Trump repent. What a great country this would be if Donald Trump would repent. It would be great. But this man doesn't believe in God. He doesn't believe in the Bible. He doesn't believe in righteousness. And conservatives support him. So, consequently, I could, I could no longer feel welcome or comfortable in the Republican Party. In fact, I would probably feel more comfortable in the Democratic Party because liberalism is not far away from godliness. Well, that's another story. I'll, I'll get to that one of these days. I mean, liberalism is a giving, giving political philosophy. Now, I know that, you know, most liberals today want to give other people's money away. But liberalism, with your own money, is very close to godliness. It's giving of yourself to benefit others. The Bill Gates Foundation. They help others. Now, I think that Bill Gates would like to see government do that, too, but I don't think that's constitutional. So, I, I'm proposing a new political party, or at least a political union. I'd like to see Agape Party of America. That's right. A party based on love. And as as we've seen, what John Adams said, there's nothing that a, 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 a religious party, I mean a, a godly party like an agape party of America. Yeah, I mean, he said our Constitution was made only for a moral and religious people. So to have a party like this would not be wrong. There's no reason why an agape party could not support the Constitution because that's what the Constitution was made for. Folks, I don't know what you think, but this whole idea, you know, when you look at most political people today, most politicians today, are haters of God. They don't believe in obeying God. And there's nothing wrong with politicians obeying God. I think that was part of the message of John Adams. We need political people to be obedient to God. And, you know, when you look at our founding fathers, okay, it, there is a debate about whether they were, uh, what do you call it, deist. But when you look at their writings, they believed in God. They believed in the Bible. Look at the Declaration of Independence. How many times did he talk about, talk about the Creator and the Supreme Judge of the Universe? These people believed in God. There's no nothing wrong politically to believe in God. But we have a bunch of them in Congress and we have a big one in the White House. He doesn't believe in God. If he did, he wouldn't treat people as badly as he does. Donald Trump is a very ungodly man. 
That's why you had to pay people off to keep them shut. You know, like Karen McDougal and and uh, Stormy Daniels, he had to pay them off. Well, of course, it's now out in the open. But, uh, hey, we need some righteousness in our government. And I think maybe an agape political party would be a good thing. Or maybe just an agape political action committee to try to find candidates who believe in God, who revere God, and revere His Word. Like our founders did. So, you know, whether a political party or a political action committee, we need something to steer this country politically toward God. Now, that's something for you to think about. Um, I, I just, I'm so tired of seeing the ungodly, evil, and wicked people get ahead all the time, and godliness is suffering. So, well, that's it. I, I, I really would like to see maybe an agape political party in America. Thanks for listening.